and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Esper Hero to start off our standard 2020 stream today. We did the Rotation Proof Mondays is what we had been doing for about the last five weeks or so. Um, but with this new format of being um, standard 2020, um, we're going to be changing that up and having Monday be our standard 2020 day. Um, I know a lot of y'all are, are really excited about this format because it's, it's um, you know, you get to play with new cards that aren't rotating, which is nice. It's best of one, which is not the nicest, but you can also earn experience towards the mastery pass. So I know a lot of people grinding it for that. And also you can play ranked as well. And so you can, you can rank up and get your experience. Um, so there we go. So we got four new decks for, for this format today uh, to try out, see how they do. Um, we got Esper Hero to start off with, which, as we know, is a is a very solid deck uh, in standard right now. But you do lose Teferi Hero of Dominaria. That's the biggest card that you lose. And so without having the Hero of Dominaria, we have extra elite guard mages and bell haunts. You know, we got seven of those. And plus we got a couple of citadels also for the card advantage at the top end. I'm a little worried about um, running out of gas with this deck to be honest, like in the, in the late game. Um, you know, we are kind of going to be relying on the Bell Haunts. There's not a whole lot of stuff that say draw a card on it. You know, we have the Guard Mages and Teferi Time Ravelers, and that's really about it. So I'm a little worried about that, um, but we'll see how it goes. We should have a lot of good, good tools. Again, like a lot of people want to play aggro in this format because um, the you are kind of re like to get experience you have to just win two in a row. And so you're incentivized to try to win two in a, in a row as many times as possible. And you know, you have like a, if you have just like a few hours to play, playing a fast deck that uh, you get to play lots of games, even if you lose, you can just restart and try to win the two in a row as many times as possible. So you, we should be seeing a lot of aggro and I am hoping that four Oath of Kaya, three Basilica Bell Haunt, four Elite Guard Mage, all this life gain uh, and interaction helps us out against the aggro decks. Um, yeah, these are all up on Stream Decker now. Balding Eddie, as far as I know. Um, yeah, they should all be up there. But here we go. Let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to just play, I don't, you know, like eight-ish, eight to ten games, something like that with each deck. We'll just kind of see how they go and everything. All right, so Esper Hero for standard 2020. Okay, here we go. Yeah, so that's that's kind of what we're going to see, how good it is in, in best of one and everything. Hey, Starman, weekend was really good. Yep, we had a couple of, of real good streams here and everything, so. <laughs> hey, what's up, Storm? Um... And Kendis, I sent you, I just sent you a message a little bit ago, so check out uh, if you didn't see it. Check out your whispers there. You're looking for a deck list, so hopefully that helps. All right, gain a life. Start at 21. Yeah, besides donation decks for like you know we have rank up Sunday, but I had a couple of donation decks for Sunday and, and one for Saturday also, so I kind of did a, a rank up Saturday and Sunday stream this time. So it looks like this game is probably going to be all about this card right here. If this if this card resolves, we probably have a really good shot of winning. If it doesn't resolve, we probably do not have a good shot of winning. So I think that's what that's what the game is going to be all about. Put thoughtfulness before action. Yeah, we should have a. That's a good point. We should have like another sub battle Saturday here soon. 
Yeah, Mortify, good draw, um, pairs with Dispark. You know, so we have two option two options to take out Reclamation. All right, come on. If we draw this land, this is going to be really important. There we go. All right, Citadel time. Ugh. I think I just... I don't think I pay the six life to play the other Citadel. I think we just draw the Citadel. Um, so that if they do have removal for this one, then we can. Yeah, yeah, we are on 14 right now. For our next 12-hour stream. Right, like... Or Matthew, those are for the 12 hour streams. The sub battle Saturdays we do the last Saturday of every month. But I think I may move that up. I think we'll probably move that up this time so that everybody can have a sub battle Saturday with the uh, with this format before rotation happens. It's really considering just Tyrant Scorning and bouncing that back to their hand, to be honest. Basically draws me a card. I don't know if I'm supposed to veto that or not. I know they get the double impulse here. I don't know. We have not drawn too well to the Citadel. But we're getting some extra cards with it still. Meditate. Gomez, I don't I don't understand your question. Are we talking about from the new set? From the new set, the most excited deck or card to build around. Honestly, haven't found something I am really excited to build around yet. Um, I, I mean, I think the three mana planeswalkers are really good. Questing Beast is incredible. So I really just like the three mana planeswalkers, I guess.
All right, finally we get to start doing stuff. If if we could draw more cards, I would bounce the guard mage and then replay it kind of thing, but we can't really draw more cards. That works. That works. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Esper is still going to be competitive after rotation. Certainly. Hmm. I can't really force them to play Chemist's Insight first, which is what I would prefer to have happen. But Narset really is hurting us here. My best bet at finding something for Narset is with uh, Othakaya. Yeah, today's rotation proof basically is standard 2020. Which is basically rotation proof day. Hmm. I'm guessing they have. Kind of guessing they have an explosion, how they're counting their lands there. One, two, three, four, five. So I have to stay above five life. It's not too hard to do. So they block Bell Haunt, they take 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. That's really annoying. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm at eight permanents right now for Bolus of Citadel. So I need a couple. So if I play like the the other guard mage, will be at ten, but I need to attack also. Um. I kind of want to do the attacking first before playing guard mage, which is why I'm I'm kind of waiting here. I kind of want to get this Narset out of here. Yeah, I think I want to get Narset out of here. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Because so we only need to send one over there at that thing. Hey, what's up, boot? Thank you so much for the, the resub. My mind needs a rest. For thirty-seven wonderful months. Now I have 10. There we go.
That was a pretty good game. All right, got to read the message. All right, it says, I can only ride a unicycle because a bike makes me too tired. <laughs> Can't be too tired. Can only be one tired. Why two to sparks? It's just a good, it's just a really good quality spell, basically. Um, yeah, it's just really versatile. As we saw there, you know, disparking Wilderness Reclamation and Nightpack Ambusher or whatever. I guess we disparked. I guess we had both disparks and no, we only had one dispark, but yeah, we disparked Wilderness Reclamation. You know, so it's just it's just a very versatile spell, basically. So that's why we got those in here. Yeah, so, so yeah, don't forget that Citadel's, of course, only non-land permanents. Does not count lands. <laughs> Burrows, you gave that one an F minus. Yeah, it was not the best, but all good. All right, so we're one and zero with Esper Hero. I was trying to rhyme with one and zero. I guess Esper Hero still kind of rhymes there too. All right, the dis the backwater is very dismal. So it looks like Naya probably like Naya Feather, right? Like if it's a Naya deck, it's probably Feather. Let's slow this down. Here goes nothing. And Teferi is amazing against Feather. If it is, don't. Let them keep up removal. The problem is I don't actually have removal for Feather currently. That's kind of the problem there, though. Hey, what's up, QQ? No, I am not making this up as I go. Thanks for the cheers. So I can Thought Erasure with Veto, or just get the Guard Mage in play. I think I should Thought Erasure with Veto. Two Ambush. That's a heck of a hand. I really wish I would have just bounced. I didn't want I didn't want like yeah shock to kill to fairy. Wish I would have bounced. Um Hey Agent McMuffin. Thanks for the tier one sub. All right, looks like I'd need to bounce. Uh, I mean, this game's just over, isn't it? I think this game's just over. Unless we draw removal for feather, I I don't really have removal for feather though, do I? Cause like Othakaya doesn't do it, Legion's End, Stop that. Now. Dispark. I have Tyrant Scorn and Mortify. All right, so I got Tyrant Scorn and Mortify. Let's 
try this. All right, looks pretty over. So if I would have bounced feather the first time, they would have just shocked to fairy. Still, but yeah, this is this is over. Because they just get to draw millions of cards with Defiant Strike, Season of Growth. I mean, we could maybe have, like, Citadel. That helps find his stuff, but... I mean, it's... We can really just concede this. That was a really loaded hand with Feather if we didn't have a removal spell for Feather. If we would have killed Feather, um, we would have won this really easily, but we did not have a removal for Feather, so... We're going to lose this very easily. I don't really have anything else to say. I mean, we're just... You're just dead. Okay. Well, I, don't, I mean, maybe we have a shot with Citadel. Maybe we have a shot here. Citadel can get us a whole lot of spells. I mean, we are at 25, they're at 12, also. <clears throat> uh. 
I was sorry, Candice. I'll try to be more optimistic. Sorry. This Citadel is the car that could give us a chance. We need like we need Citadel to hit a, a land. One, we need an untapped land. Two, we need a removal spell for Feather. We need them to, or like a Thought Erasure, something to get God's Willing out of their hand. That's not an untapped land. Of course, I targeted the 10th District Legionnaire. So if they want to... God's willing. Let them do their scry first. If they want a God's willing, then maybe we would find something to kill the feather, which we did. So yeah, Feather's out of here. Hmm. All right, so these, this is nine, 10, 11, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, I cannot, I cannot attack. They easily have lethal. Um, if they have, if they have another God's willing, they have lethal. By attack with both, like they easily can do 17. Um, if they have two God's willings, I'm dead. I'm glad I didn't attack with one creature, because then we would have been dead. Alright. I should have... I mean, I'm... I'm you know, going back and looking at it, of course, I tried to, like, keep Teferi alive a long time ago. But I should have just countered the Season of Growth or taken... Se like, I'd, I could have gotten rid of that Season of Growth. And that card just outgrinded me, so... We need the untapped land. If, if that... If that Tranquil Cove, though, was an untapped land in instead of that Tranquil Cove, then we would have been able to play that Legion's Ed in hand and exile both of those creatures. And honestly, I think we would have won that game. Um, so, yeah, we came really close. Like, our Citadel hit us, like, those two instant speed removal spells, which were awesome. Uh, so we got rid of the Feather. That was awesome. The only thing is we hit the tap land. <laughs> if we hit an untapped land, we would have had that still even how bad it looked still a good game though that was a that was a good game first one was as well We've played two uh, good games so far Thornwood Falls. All right, we'll see what's going on over here.
show remorse. I'll show here we go. We have a backup to ferry. So even if Alright, that one didn't take long. I say even if they have like a shock for the Teferi, we have a backup. That's all good. Yeah, I did, Matthew. Yeah. Yeah, it looked real it looked really nice. All the koi fish in there. I know. Yep, missing the check lands. Yeah, if that Tranquil Cove was Glacial Fortress, we would have won that game. But all good. That was a fast one. <clears throat> oh no, sound bug. So no black mana. But we're on, a, on the draw with a pretty loaded hand if we draw black mana. I think we're going to do it. I wouldn't keep it on the play. But on the draw, I think we can do it. Oh no. That was not good. Hooray. Knew we could do it. All right, so Conclave Tribunal, Shock, not the scariest of cards. Okay. Not really that bad of a trade for me. This one's looking real good for us. I could try to um, wait till we have like six mana to have like Guard Mage plus Tyrant Scorn, but in drawing the Citadel, we just want to get another Black Source, get to the Citadel. Yeah, then Dispark was going to be able to take out Conclave Tribunal as well. Like, it's so like, let's say my opponent had some, some spell that they played here, okay? Let's just say they played that spell. I could wait till like their draw step, in their draw step, Dispark the Conclave Tribunal, get back Bell Hunt. And make them discard Bell Haunt. Or make them discard because of Bell Haunt in the draw step. That would have been pretty rude, but that's something we could have done. Alright, we're three and one. <laughs> yeah, we did have a really epic game one in these last couple. We curved out perfectly. Like, we. we Got real lucky top decking that black source on turn two, and then just curved out perfectly. You know, Thought Erasure, Oath of Kaya, Bell Haunt, um, Guard Mage. So now we need white mana, but we have a couple Thought Erasures to help us find it. So even though we're on the play, still get to dig. Hmm. 
mean, I guess I could take the shock so they can't kill Hero. I was really hoping they had uh, Wilderness Reclamation there. Yeah, I was definitely hoping that was Wilderness Reclamation. So a new knight, one in a black, three, one, flash, human knight. When it enters the battlefield, target knight gains a death touch and a life link until end of turn. All right, that's pretty good. They're on with a three, one, flash or two. Fortunately, Ral has one too many loyalties right now. And there's a reaction, and you are not going to like this one. Yeah, that row was really clutch for them. Even though we get to kill Rao here, it still drew three cards, huh. plus did some scrying, plus did some damage to me. I think the teamer deck has us this time. This is our second, you know, second time playing against the teamer deck. We got the first one. I think they got us this time, though. We have zero cards, they have four. The the Legion's end and and the uh the fog, the root snare, both of those didn't matter at all. Neither of those were cards, but they have four, we have zero. I'm just gonna go on to the next game. Hey Beard of Butte. We were not necessarily completely dead, you know, obviously they could have had all four just non-spells like they could have just had four bricks in hand not likely since they're surveilling there but and then we could have drawn perfectly over and over again but i'm gonna move on Alright, base in a red deck. Looks good for us. Well, I would just say our hand looks good for this matchup. There we go. It's not like that the game looks good for us or anything this early. Just our hand is good for this matchup.
I would like to. I don't. I don't know if this is going to be possible, but I would like to bounce. Like I want to deal with this cavalcade, and so like we could bounce. Um, bounce cavalcade, then make them discard it. That's probably. It's probably just not. That's probably not possible. I know my responsibility. I've got it. Just lost a match with Sultai Treachery against Mono Red from drawing six lands in a row. Darn, sorry to hear about that, Butte. There's a five mana knight. It's a four four first strike that pumps all of their knights when it attacks. That's probably not very good. Oh, just oh that that new one? Yeah, no, you don't. Five mana four fours aren't what you want to be playing in standard. Make them discard or draw. Let's do make them discard. Yeah, so I'm going to be time wiping next turn. I was going to be doing one of these. Uh, I was kind of debating on which which one to play, either Bell Haunt or Guard Mage. Either draw or discard. We'll see if our opponent plays the Spitfire or not. They do. GG. We're still at 20. <clears throat> I was going to say, they could have three mana Chandra still, though. Like, three mana Chandra um, could do a lot. Hey, Samantha. Hope your Monday's going well. So they kept this card in hand. Just willing to discard it. All right. Wasn't too shocking. Ooh. Nice. I say I, I get to, so I'm assuming that's a good thing. I hope so. All right, I don't think Kaya's oath really went through the first time. I think Kaya needs to take another oath. Okay, well, congratulations. That's, that's, that is very good. That is very good. Hey, Dean. Welcome. All right, so Esper Hero is doing pretty good for us. Win two out of three. We'll take that. Yeah, we're, we're so close to Mythic. I think Esper Hero will get us there. And then... Uh, um, yeah, we got some other... Fun decks to play here today as well. These games go by pretty fast, so like I said, we'll be playing like eight to ten of them or so. We'll play another two to four matches here. Um, you know, one, one basically an hour to an hour and a half, something like that, like around there, as far as uh, for each deck.
<clears throat> Looks like they're having a hard time pairing us. There we go. Hey, Woodward. Yeah, it's going good. We got standard 2020 day. I think I'm going to play this with having the temple that, get to, that gets to scry. So yeah, we'll have turn two hero and being on the draw with the scry, we should be able to find blue mana. Unlike our, our last hand that we had against red was awesome. This hand, not so much. So we have double to spark, and to spark's probably just a dead card. So we're basically on a five card hand here. So while I, I like our chances against the Cavalcade deck most all the time. Ooh, they have a Frenzy. Never mind. Hmm. Slows them down, draws a card. That's good. So, like, while I like my chances in this matchup most all the time, this may be one that we lose, but... Their hand doesn't look too special. No, that's not what I wanted to see. All right, well, I guess we don't get to actually get any use out of the Dispark. All the tap lands. Okay. So my plan next turn was going to be hero to fairy tick up. Um, and then with the ability to tick up and then with, then like the next time with the fairy to bounce like my gain gain three life draw card. We drew very well. Opponent did not draw very well. But yeah, as you saw, like our, our opening hand, like we were not playing, you know, we had to spark, to spark hero in our opening hand and we didn't play any of them. So we, we drew very well. All right, five and two. Looks like we're one away from Mythic. Yeah, this is, you know, if you're expecting a lot of Cavalcade, this is a really good option. I think this is, yeah, the, the Cavalcade matchup is really good for this deck. We basically have like the Dispark as like the only bad card kind of thing. Yeah, when Cav Cavalcade's like best card against me is three mana Chandra to pair, of course, with Cavalcade. But yeah, both of those games, you didn't see three mana Chandra, and so it was pretty easy for us. But that's how. That's really the card that's the scariest, because I don't have, you know, I have like, I basically don't have Planeswalker removal, besides to spark, but you know, three mana Chandra doesn't get to sparked, so we're like looking at Othakaya, trying to hit it, it's, it's a problem, but besides that, the rest of the deck, not so bad. I've played a whole lot of limited just in my life, but I don't stream limited um and i haven't really played limited over the last couple of years too much um i did a lot of guilds of ravnica actually whenever that set came out but anyway um but yeah no basically i just only do constructed on stream um i've just found that i have a a larger constructive constructed audience
All right, gonna try to play hero first. I think we have time. I expect Risen Reef and Elementals to be like the busted thing in M20. That's that's what I would expect. I haven't played M20 Limited, but I feel like that's probably the case. All right, Ambusher Trophy. I'm gonna take the Ambusher. Because that's that's a hard card for me to deal with. Where you know if they trophy one of my creatures, you know they trophy Hero of Precinct One. It's just you know it's a one for one trade that honestly gets a land out of the deck for me. So it's a it's a two for one my way. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine, Kendis. Yeah, that's not a problem. Um, let's just set this up. All right, so we got Abzan going on over there. The them having that Temple Garden. Not just Golgari. Hey, what's up, Kurtash? So M20 is really all about forcing elementals, but then Azorius Flyers as well, and... Oh, you're doing well with Mono Black. Okay, that's interesting. I know there's a good common black removal spell. Pretty sure that's a thing. I don't remember what it is. I think like four, like four mana, destroy target creature kind of thing. Instant speed, maybe. Oh, murder. Is murder common? Do they have another one of those wolfies? No wolves. Well, murder hasn't always been common. It used to be uncommon. But okay, now it's common. So yeah, that is that is a really good removal spell. Hey, Zerg. So I'm gonna keep Tyrant scoring up. Be able to balance like guard mage or so. Alright, we got Jeskai Hero, skip the line. Alright. Uh, having a bad day with M20 constructed. And I wanna see Pro try something else. Alright. All right, so we're gonna have Jeskai Hero after this. I can probably, like, we just won't play as many games, but I can probably just get all the rest of the, the decks in today too. We'll, we'll kind of see. Hey, Kenpachi. I'm just being patient. I think if if they still don't play anything this next turn, I'm going to scorn the knight and then attack in with stuff. So 
So I'm probably going to unload both of these. Or at least one of them. Looks like they're just kind of flooding out over here. I keep on like expecting another night pack ambusher and it's not there. Well, that's good. That's good for me. I get to mortify this. Oh no, they took the hero. I was hoping they were going to be taking the Guard Mage. So I could have got one more 1-1 one, one if I would have cast the Mortify immediately before the Prison Realm took the hero. Let them do the scry and everything and think that thing was going to be gone. So if I would have attacked with the two heroes, you know, they, they trade with the two heroes. Wow. And say they take 10, go down to 9. So yeah, they still take the 10, go down to 9. Um, they kept their card on top with the Scry for the Prison Realm, so I kind of feel like it's something that's good. Oh. I was thinking it was like something like big, maybe. What kind of attack is that? Why are they trading 4 damage for 4 damage at this point in the game? That was not an, an advisable attack. All right, so there we go. Six and two, making Mythic. We're back in Mythic. So where are we at in Mythic? Number 412. Cool. All right, let's play one more to finish out this little league here. So one more match, and then we'll move on over to Jeskai Hero. <laughs> yeah, the Hero to Mythic. All right, here we go. This is a good keep. We get to be on the play. Wow, we're lucky. Thornwood Falls. I have never seen as many Thornwood Falls as I have like today. <laughs> it's just... Thornwood Falls after Thornwood Falls after Thornwood Falls. That's not exactly true, but there's just... You know, like, you don't see Thornwood, like, that specific land in Standard, basically, ever. Hmm.
Um. Let's go ahead and pass. Yeah, I was worried about that card. rather have Dovin's Veto for something else, but I'm going to use it. I don't know, like, I, I play Hero next turn. The, the, the real thing is, like, Frilled Mystic. You know, like, we don't get to Veto Frilled Mystic. I kind of regret playing Teferi when I did. Probably should have just waited till turn 5 and had played Teferi Veto. That could be where I messed this one up. If I play Bell Haunt in the counter Bell Haunt, then the next turn Oath of Kaya isn't guaranteed to actually kill anything. Hey, Kurtash, getting that gifted sub from Santa QQ. Thank you so much there, QQ. Hmm. So that's our third sub of the day. I guess syncopate isn't in this format, is it? I don't need to worry too much about playing around syncopate, do I? So if I trade hero for frill mystic... We do three damage to them, puts them down to 11. Let's say next turn, then we attack out. They have Ambusher. They block Bell Hunt. They go down to six. No. Still in a lot of trouble if they have Ambusher, just kind of regardless. Yep, yeah, there you go, Kurtash. Yeah, like if, if they have the wolf, I'm in a lot of trouble.
main phase and sight. Okay, we get five points in. Ooh, trading off Spectral Sailor, that's a good card. Hey, Korean. All right, I think we're gonna get this one. We'll see what they got. Can basically just go to attacks. They're going to need something. Pretty special. It's not that. All right. Seven and two. All right. Turns out Esper Hero is pretty good. Oh, it tells you you're ranking up in the corner now. Ooh, claim price. More XP. All right, so there we go. That was Esper Hero. Um, yeah, you know, 7-2. and two. That's a really impressive record. Um, this deck felt, felt really good. Uh, mana worked out well for us. Um... Yeah, basically everything worked out pretty well. Um, we only got we got to time wipe one time, but it was a game winning. Uh, Citadel definitely won us some games. Guard Mage and Bell Hunt were just the glue that held the deck together. Those two cards were awesome. That's why we got a bunch of them. And yeah, it's just a really good quality deck here. All right, so we made it to Mythic. And if you're watching it later on YouTube, of course, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. Also, feel free to leave comments. I always like seeing those as well. Let me know what, how you're doing in this uh, standard 2020 format. Uh, later on, we're going to be playing some Jeskai Hero up next, but then later on, we're going to have three other um, standard 2020 decks as well uh, there to finish the stream out tonight. So... Um, if you're, you know, if you're watching this later, make sure you click on over there. And plus you can go to the playlist. They have all the ones from last week. You know, we did really well with Chandra Tribal, um, also, and had some other good decks if you want to check those out. All right. But thanks so much for watching Esper Hero, and I'll see you for the next video.